My ever-changing thoughts about the 2022 Toyota Tundra, and I made an interesting discovery today. <music> everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive FST. You know, I my thoughts about the new Toyota Tundra, the redesigned Toyota Tundra seem to be ever changing. You know, I'm going to get into that in just a minute, but I made a crazy discovery today. I'm sitting out here in the garage and I needed something to prop up the camera for the video, right? So I grabbed a little container thing down here in this box of rags. You guys have probably seen these, you probably have these. But did you know how many things are included on this box? It's crazy. I've never noticed before, but if you look at the top of the box, there's a couple of cutouts to hold stuff. You know, paint brushes, tools, whatever. Uh, you just pop these out, you can stick them down in there. A good way to keep track of stuff. Never noticed that until today. Over here, there's a conversion little area. Um, converting ounces to tablespoons and liters, you know, metrics to English, whatever. Never noticed that before. And then I had looked at the side, there's an actual handle here. You can carry this thing around. Never noticed that before. Turning it upside down, there are more conversions down here. Shows you uh, visually different measurements and things, widths, diameters. There's a ruler back here. I mean, what a handy box. It's a dumb thing, I know, but gee, all these things that they've included. Kudos to Scott's for putting this stuff on this simple box. You know, I think more manufacturers should do things like that to help us out. Just some cool little features that, frankly, I never noticed before. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. You may not be aware. You may have one of these boxes of rags sitting in your garage. Check it out sometime. So let's get to the, the main topic here. It's, it's not boxes. Uh, the new Toyota Tundra, the redesigned Tundra. You know, I got to say, when it first was shown, you know, real pictures of it, not people's interpretations or thoughts about what it might be, uh, I didn't like it too much. Um, and I'm not saying I'm in love with it now because I'm not. It looks squatty to me. Wasn't real excited about the way the grill was done in the front. I still think the current model uh, looks better. I like this grill work better than the new one, but it has grown on me a little bit. Enough that I guess that wouldn't deter me from buying it. The squattiness of the truck, to be honest, most likely I would lift it anyway. And I've got to say, some of the renderings out there look pretty darn good. They show the truck lifted. I kind of like that. It's not too bad. Now, the interior, something I totally despised when I first saw it. Looked like a bunch of thrown together pieces and parts and stuff, like they just grabbed different things off the shelves, shoved it together and called it something new. It's better than that. It really is, particularly on the pro version. I think the pro version looks pretty darn sharp and I think they've brought it at least up to date when it comes to all the other trucks out there as far as the appeal of it, the aesthetics of it. It even has a little pop to it with the coloring and the stitching and things that they've done. Can't say that it's the best it could be. I mean, I pref would prefer that the infotainment screen was actually better integrated into the dash rather than just sticking it up above the top dash part. But still, I do like that they have a bigger screen. I think that's awesome and kudos to Toyota for actually making a bigger screen. I just wish it was more integrated, kind of like the Ram. I think Ram has the best setup out there when it comes to the bigger screens. It's all integrated right into the dash and it looks pretty darn good. So my thoughts about it have evolved a little bit. They're ever changing. I guess the more I've seen it in pictures and stuff, the more I've liked it, which leads me to believe that when I finally get to see one in person, uh, I may actually like it. That's what I'm hoping because the plan has been to get one, to put one on the channel when it makes sense when I can. I'm not going to pay a premium for it. And this is one of the things that I still despise about it. 
I'm not paying a premium for it. I'm not paying a big markup. I think that's absurd. It's money you are never gonna get back. As soon as they fill the market, which is gonna happen eventually, they're not gonna be worth what you'll pay in that dealer markup or market adjustment, whatever you wanna call it. That's money that you're just gonna throw in the trash. You might as well wait. I'll give you an example. You might as well wait till they're out, prices stabilize, things are normal. You can actually get something below MSRP, hopefully. And then on the day that you're gonna do that, bring an extra five, 10 grand with you and just throw it in the trash before you leave because it's exactly the same thing once the market settles and everything comes back to normal, which hopefully won't be too much longer. I'm hearing as far as mass availability, we're probably looking at somewhere towards the end of 2022, next year, before there are an abundance of new Tundras out there that you can actually go to the lot and see. I don't think that means there's gonna to be tons of them, but I do think that's gonna to help to bring the price down some, at least to MSRP or maybe a little bit below, because dealers are then gonna be in a different position. We are going to be in charge again when it comes to wanting the new truck. Now, I gotta talk about fuel economy for a minute. I've seen some tests out there, some real world experience with the truck, and nothing I've seen is overwhelming, is outstanding. It seems to me that the estimates that Toyota has put out there, or at least I shouldn't say Toyota has put out there, what everybody's talking about, um, the guesses seem to be a bit high. It seems that the truck is actually in real world situations performing a little bit lower. Now, who knows, maybe when this new hybrid comes out, it'll be better, things will improve, but I don't think we're gonna see anything earth shattering or mind blowing like Toyota promised. I think they're gonna let us down in that area. Who knows? I'm real interested down the road to see what they do with some sort of an EV, an electric vehicle, some sort of an electric truck. You know it's coming. I think there's been an explosion of electric vehicles on the market lately, or at least proposed vehicles. There aren't tons out there that you can put your hands on yet, but I do think they're coming and Toyota is gonna to have to follow suit as well. So that's when it's gonna get real interesting to see what they actually do. So I think my, my impression of the, the 2022 Tundra, the redesigned Tundra, really is ever changing. For the good, for the positive. It's grown on me a bit. Can't say that I like it more than this truck, except for the interior. I will say what they've done with the interior, I do like more than the current model. But everything else, hands down for me, is not as good as what we currently have. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of talk about that a little bit, share my thoughts on it. Leave a comment, let me know. I'd be curious, particularly if you weren't real fond of it when you first heard of it or saw it, has your, has your impression of it changed at all? Do you like it a little bit better now? Is it something you might actually buy? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, Smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.